Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I was asked to go fight a Diablos with the Charge Blade. I'm always down to do that, so that's what we're going to do today. Here is my standard Charge Blade Dragon Conversion Blood Awakening build. It's very, very solid. The skills are somewhat easy to get. Furious is always just kind of a pain to get, honestly, on augments. Just what it is, is what it is. I'm using a Dragon Con 3 Talisman with a 3 and a 2 slot. And here are the skills and decorations, of course. All these green numbers here are from decorations. And let's go bully a Diablos. And of course, here is my Diablos. Now, I did have someone ask me to make a riskier version of this build, like with Dereliction and stuff. I am working on it, but as I said, Furious Augments are kind of a pain. That and I have to get Strife as well, because we're using Dereliction. So I may as well try to get Strife in there. It's just a little bit awkward, to be honest. I didn't realize how awkward it is working around Dereliction, like as a talisman. Or, uh, yeah, as a talisman is what I'm running on it. It's quite brutal. Also trying to build up my conversion. I'm going to see if I can actually do it. Because I do miss, uh, like... I think all of them aren't at the cap, if I don't have it. Guard point that. Also, I can guard point backwards with that attack. I found that out the other day. It's quite crispy, but we're just going to go for like shield pokes until I can get it. Just build it up normally. Okay, nice. Got to point this. Get some extra damage in there real quick. I don't know if the vile pops count as extra damage for the conversion, but hopefully they do. Also, we got hit, so it might have just reset all my progress, but that's fine. Ah, never mind, there it is. So now we have full everything, essentially. I... Hmm, okay. Yeah. So, I know how to do that now, it's just still awkward to try and do it, but that's alright. Hit him a little bit, just to get that health back. He should slam out of this. Or not, that's fine. I'll do it normally. Do it myself! Okay, not too bad. There's a damage check already, and the horn break, unfortunately. But it's what it, it is, what it is, to be honest. It's not that bad. I'll get more breaks and stuff. It's completely fine with me. Oh, slam, really? I'll take that free vials. Thank you, sir. Slam him. There's the other horn break, as I said. We we're gonna get it eventually. It's just a lot sooner than I thought. Got point that way. Oh, I didn't turn much, but that's right. At least he put his face into it. I'll take it. Quick vials. Probably don't charge it. Oh, no, he missed. Okay. There we go. Should come back. Hopefully. Please don't tail sweep from all the way over there. That would be ideal. I've had him do that before. It's quite frustrating, to say the least. Gotta point that to get some free damage. Or the, get the damage buff, at least. Crispy damage. Ah, oh, he's too slow on that. Still in recovery animation there. He missed! Diablos! Okay. Um, hopefully he goes... Oh, perfect. There we go. Just walk forward a tiny bit so he actually reaches me. Basically, we want to get out of dodge far enough to actually uh, get hit by the next part. Tail sweep? No? Leave like that. We can turn around and do it. And usually hits pretty well, as you can see. Okay. That's not going to hit me. I should have just done a regular hit because there was no need to do a full one there. Like a charged attack. But that's fine. Honestly, doesn't matter that much. And since it walks us forward there, we actually dodged it. Tactical. Just counter that, because it usually hits. Again, just counter, just to be safe. <sighs> I keep trying to do it. Even though I couldn't have landed that, because uh, he would have slid across the wall. So it would have been very awkward to actually land that. But that's fine. It's honestly no big deal. Some more vials. Okay. That should hit him. I'm going to go towards where I think his face will be. Hey, some of them hit. We'll take that. That's like 3,000 damage right there. Oh, nice. Ooh. I wasn't sure if he'd reach me there, but I just sent it anyway. Got to have confidence. Right, send another one. But Good damage, good damage. Get some more. Oh, tired. We get to smack him. Hopefully he doesn't charge, because it's all going to miss then. Excellent. As I said, as long as you didn't charge there, I think we landed that trade. We'll take that any day of the week. 
So one time I actually want to see rock through, like as an attack, because usually you don't want him to rock through at all, but that's fine. Holy moly, that was crispy. Four minute Diablos, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am working on that dereliction set. It should be... I honestly don't know if it's worth it, because you do get, what, some damage out of Strife, but you can't even max out Strife on it, unless you have like a dereliction one Strife one talisman. But otherwise you can't max it out properly, and all of, I think two of your elements aren't maxed either. So it might even be better to just go for two four slots on your primordial pieces. Because the uh, chest and the gloves, I think? Yeah, so the chest here has a two slot on there and the gloves also have a two slot. We could get them both to a four and then drop like one level of... Probably... Probably the crit boost, honestly. You don't really need it that much on Elemental Charge Blade. And then on the chest, I think I just might have to hope for it, or like look up if I can even get it, possibly. Because I don't even know if I can get it. Although I guess I could just eat for the resistance too, because I'm missing two of the element resistances with the new set. That wouldn't be too, too bad. I don't really gain a lot from like food with this build, it's just... Like, Moxie and Resistance is basically all that I eat for on this anyway. Well, everybody, that was bullying a Diablos with the Charge Blade. It's honestly one of my favorite matchups. I'm a bit annoyed I messed up the um, backwards guard point twice, but it is what it is. I don't do it all that often, but it's definitely how you can land some consistent damage on that attack, because he usually goes too far away to land anything else. So turning around to guard point it and get a big damage buff of it is very, very nice. It's just aiming it is a bit awkward unless you snap your camera to him immediately after, like, the animation starts. It's just a bit awkward. Uh, definitely look forward to that dereliction one, though. I think it'll have maybe 10% more damage than this just from the strife buildup. I was tempted to make a, a dragon heart version instead because he did say a risky build, but I don't think dereliction is that risky, to be honest. Especially since I've been using Dereliction since Sunbreak release. So it's not even that big of a deal. Oi, get out of the way! <laughs> just walking through the camera, mate. But yeah, I might end up doing a Dragonheart version instead and just go fight a Rathian with it, because she's quite weak to Dragon Element, obviously. Then I should be able to get the damage a little bit higher than if I was to, say, go fight a Diablos or something. And I can have a chance to activate uh, Dragonheart, obviously. Even though, do I, do I even get anything from Dragonheart with an elemental build? I don't think I do, right? It's 10% raw. Oh, I'll throw it on screen anyway, but I'm pretty sure it's 10% raw. Maybe I'll just go Frostcraft with it instead. And, like, do bomb counters. As always, though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.